Hi everyone, Colleen Patrick Goudreau here with Charlie who insisted on being in this video which is quite apropos considering what our topic is today. There's our, there's our little mascot. Charlie is here uh, because he, like all of us, well he being an animal and like all of us who care about animals, um, we have work to do because I think the, the USDA got our message, but it, it may have been a little muffled and they didn't hear the entire thing because so many of you called last week the USDA, and I'm just going to hold this number up so you can write this down. It might look backwards. Does it look backwards? You're just going to have to figure it out because it is 844-820-2234 and I can't write backwards. So so many of you called last week to say, USDA, these records, these animal welfare records that you removed from the website, that's not okay because we're the American people and those records are there so that we can protect the animals that are being exploited and used and hurt for puppy mills to breed dogs, for zoos and circuses and animals in laboratories. They have the, a modicum of protection as it is under the Animal Welfare Act, and of course not all animals are covered under the Animal Welfare Act, but those who are have a modicum of protection, and you're removing even that. So I think they just didn't get the message. They must have heard a little bit of it because they started adding some of the records back onto the website, but they didn't get the whole message because they haven't added all of them back. And you know what they were expecting us to do? They're expecting us to go, oh, we got a little bit of progress. Progress. They added some back on. Good deal. We've got so many other things to worry about. We couldn't possibly stay on topic and stay on message because some people have problems doing that, but we don't. See, they misunderstand and they underestimate us because we can stay focused on this and we can stay focused on compassion for animals and we can say, no, let me call again and just say once again, return the animal welfare records back to the website, to the USD website, which is a government website. It is not a private website. We are the taxpayers who pay, who are actually contributing to the very departments that they're denying us access to. Now, administration people, you will get sued, and that seems to be the only language you respond to. You, will, you are being sued. PETA and other organizations have already filed a lawsuit. The Humane Society of the United States, th these organizations whose resources and money are there to protect animals, are now spending their money and resources to, to basically get the government, who are supposed to be, that those departments who are supposed to be there to protect the animals, uh, to do their job. And now they have to spend money to do this. So they are, you know, so the U.S., the uh, Humane Society of the United States is actually pressing forward because the USDA is actually violating a settlement that the Humane Society had with the USDA a couple years ago, and PETA and other organizations are suing. So th th it's going to happen. Our message is do it now so more animals can be protected. So forward this to everybody you know. Call your aunt, call your sister, call your brother, call your uncle, call your mother, call your father, because this is something everybody cares about. We're talking about puppies and kittens, we're talking about rabbits, we're talking about horses, we're talking about wild um, animals, free roaming animals, or not free roaming, who are captive, uh, captive wild animals, which is um, bad enough on its own. All of these animals, no, we don't know if the welfare standards that are, again, small, are being violated or not, because the government is removing that information from us, from those who care about animals and protect animals. So you have it. People are writing it down there in the comments. Please write it in the comments there. 844-820-2234. Amazing. I, I am actually reading that backwards and upside down. So it's pretty, it's pretty good skill. Um, so, so a lot of you, I know you did so much last week. Um, Joydi says, I talked to a doctor and she said that she does not care about food, changing food habits, everything in moderation. Well, sure. Call the doctor back and say, do you care about puppies? <laughs> because most people do. And so this is what we all need to do. It will take no time at all. I can call right now if you wanna see what it looks like. I can call right now and you can see what it looks like. It takes two minutes, I was gonna say three, two, 
takes two minutes to call and insist that the government stop hiding records. They want us to shut up. They want us to stop. They figured if they just give us some crumbs, that's going to be it. But we're not going to shut up. We're not going to stop. We're going to keep calling. <clears throat> I'm going to call. I don't know if it's the same lovely woman I spoke to last week. A lot of us spoke to this same woman. Full. Oop. I might not be able to make, I, have, I haven't used this phone in a long time. <laughs> I only use my, I only use my cell phone. I don't know if this is going to work. There's nothing happening here. Hold on. You can be calling right now because I can't hear you. Hi, Sue. How are you? I am very well. I'm a little busy, and unfortunately, I have to make this phone call to you again because I, I don't think the administration heard us. We're insisting that the animal welfare records be returned to the USD website. This is um, my taxpayers pay for that. My tax, my tax money pays for that and they need to be returned immediately. So you're, so unfortunately you're going to be getting a lot of phone calls again because it's not over. I did review the website. Thank you for saying that you updated it, but did you return the records to the website? Right, but all, but th there should be 100% of the records should be returned since this is quite literally public information. Yeah. Great. Oh, good. So you're saying that that, that is the goal is to return 100% of the records? Okay. Well, um, you might want to get some tea because you're going to get some phone calls. And, um, and I'm really looking forward to making sure that these are all publicly um, recorded and that the powers that be who are protecting animal abusers, which is really unfortunate, um, they need to know that this is not okay and we're not going to stop calling until all of the records are returned. Of course. Well, thank you. I know you, this is not something that you're personally responsible for, but I really do hope you understand this is about very basic compassion and protection for, for those who have no voice to speak for themselves. Thank you. Thank you. So please record my comment. Okay. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Yeah. So, um, the fact that that phone wasn't busy when I called means there aren't enough people calling. So please call. She's expecting your call. She's waiting for your call right now. She's expecting your call. So, Jody, uh, we are insisting that the full 100%, yes, yes, because they will say that there is an update on the website and they are going to say that they're in the process of doing it, say that they could do it today, no reason. If they could take the records down in a day, it seems like they could put the records back up in one day, 844-820-2234, and people are actually putting in the comments that number as well, so keep, keep doing that. Carrie said it took me about 30 seconds. Yeah, mine took a little longer just because I was chatting with her. <laughs> so could have been a lot faster. She um she was she was interested in telling me that they have made an update on their website. You can thank her for that, but the question is, are 100 percent of the records back up on the website? And we need to understand, we need to tweet this, we need to share this, we need to get this out on social media. We need to control the dialogue. We need to control the discourse that is happening right now in the United States. Act, don't react. We need to be controlling what we care about and what the American public cares about, what our basic values are. And I don't care if you're Republican, Independent, D Democrat, I don't care what you are. These are basic American values. These are basic human values that the innocent should not be harmed and that those who are being harmed should be have the modicum, ha should have some protection. And they do. They have a modicum of protection through the America, the, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, 
Welfare Act. And, uh, and, and that is all we have to see if they are actually being protected. So this needs to be controlled. This needs to be, con we need to be as insistent and persistent in this issue. This is an issue that I care about. This is an issue that you care about. This is an issue that all of your followers care about. And I am certain of that. This needs to be out there constantly. They put up a little bit of the records back up on the website and they expect us to roll over and shut up and not keep calling. Tweet about it, tweet, the administration, I don't care. Apparently the president only cares about tweets. So tweet him, um, which is unfathomable <laughs> that this is the case, but it is the case. We can't, we can't be shocked anymore. We have to, we have to deal with this, you know, on, on, on the terms that we have. And the terms that we have is that we have we have the ability to call. We have the ability to share this. We all have social media accounts. Each one of us can share. I already put a video up on my Facebook account. This is the same video I had up last week. Unfortunately, it is still the same video because it's the same message. So please share that with everybody you know. Share it on Twitter. Share it on Pinterest. I don't care. Wherever we can share it. But, um, but they need to know that, that it's not okay and we need to get the records up a hundred percent of the records back up on the website. Support the organizations who are uh, bringing a lawsuit. The Humane Society of the United States, PETA, the resources they have to spend to just get the government to do what the government is supposed to do is heartbreaking because there's enough work to do to protect animals as it is. There's so much work to do as it is and we shouldn't have to fight for the public records to be on the USDA website, which is what our taxpayer, our tax, I always say taxpayer, it was what our tax money pays for and and that's the bottom line. And we won't stop until until that's done. We won't stop until that's done. And don't underestimate this pressure. That is exactly why the administration put up some of the records back last week. They are they are understanding the public outrage. Senators have written letters, organizations are suing them, the public is writing to the USDA. This needs to be disrupted until it is absolutely over. And then we can check this one off and we can get to work doing something else because Lord knows we've got enough to do. So it's not over and it, it, I want, if I called right now and that phone is still not is busy, we're not doing enough. That phone should be busy. <laughs> that woman should not be sitting at her desk pushing papers. She should be answering our calls and noting down our comments. Uh, give your number. I did last time, the last woman I spoke to, I gave my, my telephone number, I gave my name, and you can do the same thing. Sorry, you're all so bright. You're all so bright over there. Was there a reason given for them taking it down? Yeah, Kim, the reason, I, I, they're saying they wanted to make sure that the information that's out there isn't harming the people who who are basically the abusers. These are the animal abusers. The records are there to make sure that the Animal Welfare Act is not being violated. The modicums of protections that these animals have are not being violated while they sit in laboratories and suffer, while they're being used and poked and prodded and suffer, while they're being used and poked and prodded and suffer in circuses and zoos, laboratories and puppy mills, horses, all of them. They are, they are being harmed as it is right now. But under the Animal Welfare Act, there are standards they have to adhere to. We can't tell if these standards are being met. We can't tell if violations that were already broken are now being changed. We can't, we don't know. So what they're doing is protecting business. This is what this kleptocracy is all about right now. This administration is a kleptocracy. All they are there for is to protect business interests. And so they're protecting the business interests of the puppy mills, of the laboratories. This is what they're doing. And that's why they've taken these records down. Those records are public information. They need to be back up. So their excuses and their reasons uh, for why they took them down are... Uh, well, they, they're kind of saying it, that they want to make sure that the information about these people are not, um, it's not public. <laughs> I mean, so they're kind of saying that's exactly why. So they don't have a good reason. Uh, they're just, um, they're just trying to cover their tracks. So call right now, 844-820-2234. Emma, if you hurt or abuse, you lose all rights. End of story. Yeah, well, we need to get those people to be accountable. Um, 
Emma says, I still can't understand why it was done to begin with. I hope that I hope that explains. Surely the U.S. have more important things to worry about. And I say that loosely because for me, it's um, of paramount importance. So, yeah. So if that makes sense, Kim, you have to we have to always understand what they're doing in the context of what they're values are and their values the values of the administration are basically to protect business that's what they're there for they could give a hoot about animals they could give a hoot about me <laughs> they're there to protect business if you don't believe me just go look at what what's happening right now uh they uh he's filled his cabinet with millionaires and billionaires and that's all they care about protecting right now and that's that's what's happening and that's what we need to fight this is our fight this is as important as all the other rights they're eroding it's as important as important as all the other issues and all of the other executive orders that are affecting the disenfranchised the animals are disenfranchised the the immigrants are disenfranchised the uh, i mean name it like people of color in this country are disenfranchised and these are all of the victims of this particular administration because where there is a business to protect over a living breathing being they will protect it so that is exactly why they have removed the records from the usda's website is because they're protecting these businesses. They're protecting these abusers of animals. And so we need to understand that. If we understand that, okay, all right, we're not going to convince them otherwise to care about animals. This isn't about finding common ground with the administration on caring about animals. They care about business. But we do have common ground uh, with the people who are in our lives, our, our, our Republican uncle, our Democratic aunt, who cares how people voted. Tell them that animals right now, their voices are already so limited and they're already so muted. And all they have is us and we need to just make a phone call and insist tweet about it facebook about it write about it write a letter to your editor we've been saying this as well write a letter to the editor of your newspaper just because you saw some stories out last week from the new york times and the washington post actually it was on ap on the associated press but i didn't necessarily see a particular story by the new york times i only saw it through a through the associated press Write a letter to the New York Times. Find an article that's relevant to this story, and you can find many, many newspapers who already have this story. Journalists print letters when they hear from people who obviously are speaking for a larger group. Every letter you write represents a hundred, a thousand people who think the same way we do. And the journalists know that, and the editors know that, the letters to the editor, editor knows that and that's what we need to understand writing a letter to your editor to get this in the newspaper journalists go this is an important story this is a story people care about that's a question that could get asked in a press conference it's a question that can be written about in an article that they're writing about it's an investigation that they could do because they care about that particular issue as well do not underestimate the power of the letter the power of your pen to write to you don't have to be that eloquent you just write a letter to your editor of your local paper say I'm so concerned I am an American citizen I pay taxes and the records that are up on the USDA the, the records that should be up on the USDA re website a public government website that my tax dollars pay for have been removed and that is an affront to the very liberties to the very democracy to the very freedom of information that we value as Americans write that to your letter to your editor to your newspaper to the letters for the editor newspaper you get what i'm saying write that letter write it in a blog post encourage everybody to write this contact your local organizations this is what we're talking about getting journalists to understand the importance of this this is how it works this is how it works us pushing all of the people we know in all of the ways that we still have the rights to do currently we should be taking advantage of every single one of them freedom of the press freedom of speech, freedom to call, <laughs> freedom to call the USDA and say, get these back up. Katie says, when I call, who is that number going to exactly? Who am I calling? You are calling the USDA. You're calling an administrator at the USDA. That's all it is. It's, the, there's, it's a department. It's not some amazing entity that we should be intimidated by or afraid of. It is a, it is a government bureaucratic administrator sitting there at a desk and waiting for your call. That's it. So you call 844-820-2234 and you call, hi, I'm an American city citizen. I am an American taxpayer 
those records need to be put up and and I, I'm outraged. I'm outraged that these records are still not back up. They've been hearing from millions of people and they still haven't put these records back up. You're welcome, Katie. So does that make sense, everybody? Is everybody doing it right now? Maybe you're not talking to me because you're all making a phone call right now, which would be awesome, which would be awesome. Right, Charlie? Charlie wants you to call. I wish you could see Charlie's face. Can you see his face a little bit? I can't tell if you can see it. My sweetie, you gonna clean your eyeballs because that's what we do. I wish every single cat in the world could have the life that these cats, I wish that every animal in the world could have the life that these, that these cats have. This is what we need to fight for. These are the ones who, who don't have a voice. So I will stop talking so you can, so you can call. Can you see, did you see Charlie's face? I don't know if you can see it. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Hey, Charlie. Where's that, Charlie? 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 Say hi. Can you say hi to everybody? All right, tell everybody to call. Call on behalf of Charlie. Call on behalf of Charlie. Make that call. Call the USDA right now. And again, uh, I'm going to say it again and again and again. Just love his mommy. I'm going to say it again and again and again and again and again and again. Write a letter to your editor of your newspaper. Write a letter to the editor of the New York Times, the Washington Post, the Wall Street Journal the Christian monitor. I don't care. All of them. Write a letter to each and every one of them. The best way to write a letter is um, is in response to a recent article. You know, obviously this is timely. So, you know, so it would help if they've already reported a story, you know, written about it uh, in the sense that they maybe mentioned it. But, or if they haven't mentioned it, I never get calls. Um, it's probably the USDA calling back. Um, if they haven't mentioned it, say to them, why haven't you, why haven't you done a story on this yet? Are you asking the administration in your press conferences? Why hasn't this been, why haven't you written about this? Um, <laughs> if Charlie were in charge of the problem, Charlie, would you fix it if you were in charge? He would. Um, so, so I, I beg of you to write a letter. This kind of activism, I, I, I'm sorry to, bring up the time constraint, but I know everybody's busy. It takes five minutes. It doesn't take that long. The best way to find the letter um, email address for the editor, the letters um, to the ed editor, editor, is just type in the name of the newspaper you're looking for and letters to the editor. You know, submit letter to the editor, New York Times. Submit letter to the editor, you know, Billings Review, whatever. Whatever the newspaper is, and you'll get it very quickly. Uh, and your letter is more likely to get published if you follow their guidelines for word count. Exactly. It's exactly what Melissa said. So find out what their word count is, and you'll find that on the contact page when you find, you know, who to write the letter to. And um, follow it. Keep it short. Keep it, keep it succinct and just say that much that this is this is an affront to our democracy our liberty and it's an affront to all of the animals who deserve to be able to be protected under the one animal welfare act and we need to see those records the government needs to return the the animal welfare records to the website immediately so please tweet please put this out on facebook share this video i'm trying to make it easy for people to just have things to share uh it's urgent it's important it's um it's, 12, it's almost one o'clock here in California, which means it's getting close to closing time in DC. And if this uh, day ends and you haven't made your call, write a letter to the editor and make the call tomorrow. But do something today to speak up for the animals and, 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 and urge the government to stop hiding what is not theirs to hide. These are public records and we won't let them get away with it because we care and we, we have a voice and we will make it loud for the animals. Thank you for watching everybody.